Mops, buckets and elbow grease. Fans substituted on for cleaning duty at cash-strapped Berry this morning. Desperate times, desperate measures. I think it's great that a lot of people have come down and that are helping the community out and they want it to survive. It will affect a lot of people, not just the football club, but all the surrounding businesses and things. So it's important that everybody gets together and keeps the club going for the community. It's like losing a loved one, you know, it's, you'd just grieve for it if it went, but uh, fingers crossed, hopefully it won't go. And the fans at Berry weren't alone, because just 25 minutes drive away, there was a similar picture at Bolton Wanderers, a waiting game for a lifeline or expulsion from the league. All this on the birthday of Bolton legend Nat Lofthouse, whose statue stands outside what was, back in 2012, a Premier League ground. We remember the best days where we, were, we, we, were, we had money. We had a lot of money to now have nothing. Good team doing the best we could and now it's come down to this, hasn't it? And... Some here think the only long-term solution is a fan buyout. If everybody's listening, I think... Let's buy to herself because it's roaring on a Saturday afternoon, thousands, and I'm willing to give £20 a week out of my pension, I'm, I'm honestly. And Nat Lofthouse does the rest, it's a goal! From founding member of the Football League to four FA Cup wins, Bolton has seen huge changes in the game. For some, the wider-than-ever gulf now between football's different tiers leaves many clubs exposed. In the lower leagues, what they've done is that too many clubs have been seduced by the opportunity of getting into the Premier League and they've overstretched themselves and this has helped contribute to the crisis that we see at present. Back at Bury, the fans had been told today was crisis day. All they could do was make the place look its best after 134 years of footballing history here.